<laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. What's up, guys? My name is Rigo, aka Killer Beans, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be the first video. Um, I'm gonna, I want to talk about games, art, and kind of things that I just I'm really passionate about. Um, and then we'll just have a good time. Uh, you know, thank you for even watching the video, and let's get into it. <laughs> We're going to be talking about Overwatch and Destiny, Blizzard. What are you guys doing, man? We we had such a great relationship going into this. You guys promised to take us out and enjoy a good time. You guys said, hey, I'll pick you up in a very nice car, wear your finest um, clothing, you know, smell good, get your hair done, because we were going to be taken to a five-star restaurant. Instead of what you guys did, you guys took us to Denny's. Nothing wrong with Denny's, right? But I'm dressed up to go to a five-star restaurant, Instead, I'm here at Denny's waiting. <laughs> the reason this is, is because yesterday, the Blizzard came out through through their YouTube channel and all over Twitter and just social medias came out and said that they will no longer have the ability for the team to have the PVE that they promised. I believe that they went back up to 2019. Papa Jeff, we miss you. We love you. Come back, please. Um, he said that, you know, that they were going to deliver this incredible PVE experience. Your characters were going to have, you know, this co-op mission. Uh, and then you were, you know, each character was going to have an ability or, you know, an ability tree that you can tailor to, to when you play this game, that character felt unique to you, right? This is, I think a lot of people were like, this is incredible. This is something that we want. Um, who better to do this than Blizzard? Diablo. Diablo 4 is coming out. I'm sure a lot of us play the beta. It's incredible. But you would just think that, hey, naturally, yes, this is who we want to uh, do something like this. You know, these characters seem to have so much life. The You know, the animations that they do, the backstories that they tell seem to be just designed so well to fit into a, a role-playing game. And, or, or you know, a, a mission exploratory, kind of like Destiny. And I'm just going to go back to Diablo, right? Because this is who... A lot of these uh, games are trying to mirror but in a shooter world uh and they said no they they said that they're going to that the team is not <laughs> the the for the past four years the team is not strong enough um to sustain a multiplayer multiplayer service along with a single pl or co-op player experience and we are i think as as a as a community and as players i think we're kind of tired of, of triple a games telling us um to get dressed up you know we they before it was they would bait you into getting these cool dlc stuff before the game come out came out and what happened the game would come out it, it was a really crappy product uh the game either sucks super buggy and but you know they're like hey we're going to fix it we're going to fix it and that fixing that fixing would then turn into, oh, give us about another three months, four months, five months, five years, six years, whatever the case is. Um, and you guys say, what? That's a long time. Like, what game is that? Well, we can kind of compare that to 343's Master Chief Collection. You know, that's a lot. That's one that I felt kind of started this path of patching the game later because eventually the game would be extremely cool or extremely fun to watch or play. I'm sorry. And yeah, at this point, it's a flawless uh, system, but they made you pay for it, made you wait almost two to three years to have the experience you have now. So what does this come back to? Um, it seems that AAA games are in the market of promising you and not delivering. We go uh, anywhere and you put your money that you worked hard for and expect a value equal to that, or if not greater, because you're paying for that. Overwatch 2 if this is the case, did it need to be Overwatch 2? And I say this because a lot of us, from my experience, did not get my skins that I either played for, bought through loot box system, um, that weren't transferred over into Overwatch 2, although Blizzard said connect it, whatever. But what can they come out and say? They can use terms like our system, you know, isn't working, there's bugs, please reach out, uh, reach out to us again, even though no one picks up, no one talks to us. You know, there is no communication. The community has to figure this the, these tweaks around because 
they it's like oh well hey i don't know what's going on we're too busy trying to fix the game um so they wash their hands uh perfect perfect example i had the diva skin the the police one from the event i had the sprays my emblems and the skin when i got overwatch 2 i only had the skins i mean i'm sorry i only had the 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 spray and the emblems didn't have my skin i had to recently buy it uh through using your white currency coins that you get in the season pass but i didn't need to do that there's i i'm missing holly uh halloween skins and I'm missing some uh, Christmas skins or, uh, you know, uh, holiday season skins. And that just doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand why these games can companies continue to do this. Um, and, you know, what is, where does this leave the, the, the Overwatch community? The TikTok and social media, you know, they seem extremely bothered by something that was promised and is being scrapped away because the team can't focus to give us a live server service or server you know whatever you want to call it so where does this leave overwatch uh blizzard and these companies stop telling us start delivering right stop telling us stop showing us start delivering on what you guys are promising that you guys are going to be doing you guys say that we would be getting pve with overwatch 2 this is why we bought in this is why we changed to overwatch 2 um, you guys forced us to go down this path. You guys made us, uh, you know, believe in the product that you would be doing. And this is something AAA games have been doing for decades at this point, right? You, you, you Here's like this cool game that's coming out. You pre-order it and the game just is broken. It's buggy. It's just not the business. Cyberpunk was kind of one of those things too, right? They lost their good faith in what they had. They over-promised and under-delivered. Um, same thing with at this point with Overwatch 2. They told us it was going to be an incredible experience and we're going into season five and that is gone. Destiny and Bungie, we're going into this next uh, week where they, where they are going to be raising the price for $5 more and what will you be getting out of this service that won't be working when it goes live because it's just buggy uh, perhaps even weapons that are going to be going to be taken offline, uh, servers going to be going offline for hours. Um, and yeah, someone might say, go, you know, who cares? Go out, have a good time. But sometimes this is the way we distress. We have long days at work. We want to come home and play something that we've paid for. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what the, the, what the community can do or continue to do to support companies, AAA companies who are making a lot of profit based on our good faith and not delivering right we'll see what season of, of the deep does but compare witch queen to lightfall lightfall wasn't up to par the story wasn't good the the environment felt weird it was felt too like it felt completely disconnected from what they set up for overwatch uh, i mean i'm sorry for the witch queen versus lightfall you know how much longer right now at this point will light fall i mean will the final shape be good what's the story going to be like everything is kind of pointing to it it might not be the best at the moment maybe season of the deep uh, changes all of that turns it all around it is the most incredible season since season of the hunt my personal take um but we'll, we'll see right so um kind of wrapping this up we'll uh overwatch the you know the the, the missions will be sprinkled into the season uh, into the season pass let me know what you guys think tell me what this experience is like for you guys as the consumer and as people who uh, play the games um, and 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 hopefully you guys can stick around i'm going to try to build on this this is going to be something i talk about games and music and art i am an artist this is my cintiq so i'll probably be sharing artwork with you guys as well so thank you guys for sticking around i'll have my social medias somewhere here and i don't know i think it'll be a good time we'll have a great time together and thank you guys for sticking around